These podcasts are completely uncensored, completely out of control, and completely unformatted. There's your warning. These podcasts are sponsored by Yak Attack at yakattack.us. What Yak Attack is, is the leader in the kayak fishing industry who specializes in kayak fishing rigging solutions. As kayak anglers themselves, they are tightly integrated into kayak fishing community and are acutely aware of what the sport needs. It all starts off with the gear track and or the mighty mount. The gear track comes in all different sizes and colors and the screw ball that attaches to the gear track allows everything to attach to it. So what that is, is a variety of rod holders and camera mounts for your still cameras and your GoPros. Your light poles with the day flags that folds into the flag. Your fish finder mounts and your black pack crate system. All of Yak Attack's products are made in the USA. The rod holder that is standard in all my kayaks with Yak Attack is the Zuka Tube rod holder. This rod holder easily locks in either a spinning rod on one side or a bait caster on the other. You can flip it around, lock a bait caster in with the trigger grip, or flip around the other side and have a uh, spinning rod in. It's open all the way through, so it can also double as an anchor point for your parking pole or your stakeout pole. Just position it over the side of the kayak and anchor with your parking pole. Definitely my favorite rod holder, the Zuka Tube from Yak Attack. This podcast is also sponsored by my DVDs at kayakkevin.com, the Kayak Fishing in Chesapeake Bay series, and the Bay Tour DVD. The fishing DVDs are broken up into a trilogy. Number one is an intro into the fishery, has a full year's worth of footage from more of the larger fish targets of the lower Chesapeake Bay. The instructional sequels are broken up into two parts, the warm water and the cold water species. Number two is the warm water species with detailed instruction on the rigs and the fishery itself spanning from the red drum at the shoals, flounder and the summer species at the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, and sight casting the red drum and striper. Number three has a detailed instruction about the cold water species, the, the tautog and the eastern shore striper fishery. The Chesapeake Bay Tour DVD is a six week 600 mile tour I did around the Chesapeake Bay in 2010, kind of filmed in a survivor man style showing everything I do and look for when I'm on a long distance tour. All of these DVDs are available at kayakkevin.com. It's kayakkevin.com and yakattack at yakattack.us. Certain staff members, us, those two, kayak for the year as a demo boat. So if anybody was interested in that model, they would basically borrow it from us or that other guy that had his. So first off, I was like, well, well, this sounds like a good program, but you understand I'm not on the hook when I lend that kayak to Joe Blow and it never comes back. You're like, I'm not paying for it. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, so we had this kayak for a year, the Thresher we had, and the other guy had an attack. And so then after the year was up, we were to take it and use the money to raise, um, to raffle it off, and the money was to go to TKA. And I don't know what the guy, maybe a club he belongs to. So we're at that point now, basically. So this kayak, the Thresher, it is, I won't even say it's slightly used. It is brand new, really. I don't think I lent it out five times. And one of those, I paddled it, maybe five, six. But it's clean. I mean, it is brand new. Yeah. With the rudder. With the rudder, correct. And that's the only reason I... Which one is it? The Thresher 140 with the rudder. 140, okay. Yep, Dusk. Yep, the orange um, camo. Yep. And that's the only reason I use it, because I've never had a rudder. Yeah. I've never, like... I, and I never will have a rudder now. No, I don't. I, I was doing circles. That makes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pain. Kevin and I talked it's about it. I was like, dude, I don't pain, know. Dude. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah exactly. I, I was like, literally, we went out striper fishing, and I'm like, you know, I'm used to doing everything with my paddle. So, but at the same time, I was like, I got a rudder, so I'll try it. And I'm like, so I'm doing the change, and I'm doing this one, and I'm just like, whoa, well, no, I, 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 just, I don't know how people use a rudder now. I like, had Jay's and that constant, that constant kind of pressure you have to keep to keep uh -huh. your feet, because I'm kind of that. And I'm, I use my feet yeah. for paddle strokes. So, so I'm like yeah. this the whole time anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I took Jay's Tarpon 140 one day. We were messing around. I think somebody was either in mine or it was... It was When Jay lived at well, Six Bay. So I think it might have just because it was in his backyard. <laughs> I just grabbed his Tarpon 140 and, and went out to meet Kevin and make a few casts one evening. And I couldn't stop running into things. <laughs> Who's the drunk? Okay. I told I wish I had talked to you before I took it out because I was like all I was I probably went a so, lot further than I could have went. So whoever yeah. wins it, if you don't or no longer want the rudders because 
they made it sound so. You, just you keep can it take up. it off. You just keep I it mean, up. I think a lot of people here kayak fish. They know whether they want it or not. I got no no. Yeah, I just don't. Runner. Even cross current as much as I paddle. You go, and you don't fish the bridge as much as we do. That, that straight line three mile cross current paddle, and I still don't ever wish I had one. Yeah, I, I just, <laughs> I've never even thought about it. Hard to teach an old dog new trick. So anyway, back to the kayak. So yeah, so twelve days of Christmas we started it. On the first. On the first. So on the twelfth, the raffle will be done. I shared a link on Kevin's announcement of tonight's show. There's a link on my page. You can go to TKA's Facebook page. There's links on there. And every day we're sharing different attributes or qualities of the thresher just to kind of keep it rolling so everybody knows. And within that, and this is randomly throughout, we had some gift certificates from GOPC, Great Outdoors Provision Company. So, but if you win a gift certificate in the middle of that, you're not taken out of the kayak. This is the extra. So your oh, name yeah. still stays in there. Um, so, but for 10 bucks, you know, or however many you want to buy, you're never going to get a kayak for $10, <clears throat> a brand new thresher. Yeah. So Christmas time, maybe somebody's happy Christmas. Yeah. You know, they get their new kayak or whatever out of it. And a little couple bucks go back to TK. You know, we raise some money for our local kayak angling club and. Should be a good thing, and I like to see it do well because Wilderness talks about, they're talking about if it works good, which I think it will, not just the raising money, but like I said, I probably put about five people in it this year, and I know some of the results on purchases or not. Some people didn't buy anything, and so anyway, so that's just kind of the, because you know, you work at a kayak shop. There's not that many times a year you can try a book, mm -hmm. so, and I'm not just going to lend out mine or to any Joe Blow or... You know, whoever. Right, unless I see somebody at the rent. I mean, I have told people that I know or people that ask me you on know. Facebook, look, I'll, if you want to meet somewhere, yeah, we can meet. And I'll, I'll well, some you paddle around. Yeah. Literally, I was giving this to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I, like, talk, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I talked to right. Jeff Little. Well, that's the thing. He's like, they're not meeting like, me with I fishing tackle yeah. shop. I'm just coming to my house. You know? <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, I, I told to Jeff, and I was like, we got to figure out. So I would like take a picture of their ID, you know, get all their information. As they're driving out of the parking lot, I'm writing down their license plate. No, but anyway. It's a brand new expensive boat, yeah, but yeah. um, anyway, so that's that's basically it in a nutshell. So you can go on there, you can buy tickets whenever you want. You know, you'll get a number for each ticket you purchase, and then on the 16th, it's a Friday night. We're gonna draw, and it's 11 days from now. Right. So, so we're it's not a couple... even that. Well, close this on the 12th. So I'm saying, so you start the 12th today, and we're going 12 days. No, we start on the first, so to the 12th. And then it closes for a couple days. Oh, okay. Then you close it. Yeah. Because it's on a Friday. Okay. That's when they draw. Okay. But the raffle itself closes on the 12th. I believe midnight on the 12th where right. they shut it down. Because <clears throat> we had to pick a site like a GoFundMe kind of page or whatever. Someplace to put the money because we weren't going to sell raffle tickets. Yeah. And it makes it, you know, anybody. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll take it too. But if you win it and you're not local, you're going to have to pay for shipping. Right. Or, you know, I mean, I'll meet you wherever, you know, local. Within reasonable distance. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> D.C. is not local. But, yeah, but anyway, so yeah, so, but we have plenty of shipping around here that we can ship it out to you, so you just have to figure it out and arrange the shipping if you do win it and not local. Mm -hmm. so, Plus just supporting the local club. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's a good deal. Like I said, it's a good program. I mean, it's pretty cool that they would do that. And so do you know how many... Pro, how like this they offered? How many clubs they've? This has been an offer. This is the only. Okay, so you're one other guy. Yeah. Okay, so you're. The other guy was up in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I know you said it was the start, just the start. So yeah, you this is the two. first time, right? This you and Jeff. Time. No, it was oh. another guy on the team. He's up more near Jeff's neck of the woods. I can't think of his name. It's escaped me right now. And he had the attack, and I'm not really sure how his went or what he did with it. Because that was the other talk, like to do it during of our tournament. But I was like, no, nah, I didn't want to get it. Plus, you know, we always have new kayaks or yeah. whatever. So it's like. Not that, like I said, believe me, I'll take pictures of anyone wants. Call me, I'll take pictures of it. It's brand new. I mean, <laughs> there's probably no scratches oh, on it. I have more photos. What's that? That's my favorite thing. When somebody is selling something on Facebook uh, and they the give you three options down at the bottom just to click on like things and it automatically posts it. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Interested. Do you have more photos? Is this still available? <laughs> 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 so you can just go on there and be like, but the, beauty, but the beauty of it so is we that. really don't have to deal with it at all. Yeah, no, it's all no. done through the site. It all goes yeah. through TK, so. And they, they did a good job. I believe Amy worked on getting it, you know, that site built up. And 
And you can go back and look. It's There's smooth a and easy. Look. Everybody I've talked to that has bought a raffle ticket said it was really easy to work. And you, we every, every ticket tickets. you bought, you get your own number. Several people, well, I don't know, a few people commented on there today that they just bought, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was getting. After, I mean, it got shared a couple times. After so it's Kevin, hard to keep up with that. Right, after like, Kevin shared it today, I was getting my phone. Was like, I to tell you tickets? where they are. <laughs> right. I think right. they're halfway there or a little halfway where they want it to be. Uh oh! Question came straight to my phone. Uh oh! That's, uh -oh. <laughs> I don't want to read it out loud. I haven't looked. Well, I haven't looked down. Oh, never mind. This is one I'll have to work on later. Yes, Frank, I'll work on it. Mm. Anything else? It takes a special kind of person to talk to kayak and watch The Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> is that Joe? No. Uh, no, Joe <laughs> loves The Walking <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Fucking questions are on here. Oh yeah, we cuss on here. Sorry about that. Oh, those yeah. Who know, who know, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Those yeah. who haven't who haven't uh, been on Did been on our podcast before, we cuss our ass know. off on here. I don't know. Completely uncensored. I, I didn't even realize we did. We do it so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized it when I went. Fuck, there's a lot of questions on here. <laughs> <laughs> and there it was again. Um. Yeah. Yeah, if you I did not you catch anything, to... by the way. When was that? When I went fishing with Shane. Oh. Talking about how can I catch dogs but not catch anything else. We did. We got schooled by Megan. Megan schooled That's us right. on Megan the sea bass all the, last Friday. Isn't that short? Friday before last. It's that oh, sensitivity Megan, thing. Yeah, Megan schooled us all day. Well, when you go to the wrecks, you want somebody to fish a bottom rig. You want somebody to fish a bucktail. And if you can, if the currents are right, you fish a jig. Shane fished a jig. It was working good for the sea bass. I fished a bucktail. I caught a flounder. It was okay for the sea bass. Megan fished the bottom rig. And she caught them one after another after another. <laughs> it's that sensitivity thing, I'm telling you. If I, had, I mean, uh, if I hadn't caught that mako, I mean, I, I, mean, I did catch a citation tile fish, too. So, I mean, I didn't do that bad. But... I didn't catch that many big sea bass at all. <laughs> and eventually I switched hurt. to the double button. No, no. That sensitivity <laughs> thing, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, I tell everybody, she killed us. It's that sensitivity thing. Was there anything good on there? No question. There's a couple. Serious couple. questions? Yeah. Any questions about ma mashed potato recipes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, we, so we're sitting here, and I'm getting set up, and I'm just sitting there looking, and, and Chris goes, you look tired. I'm like, I'm bloated. Right before I came, I ate too many mashed potatoes. I was going to eat just a little bit, and I overate mashed potatoes. And I'm like a pound? Bad. Like one of them instant bag, like little pouches of mashed potatoes, instant pat mashed potatoes? Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, so it's a pound of that. It's at least a pound. At least. That's a lot. At least. The whole thing. Um, yeah, I... Oh, yeah. And cheese. <laughs> Don't forget the cheese. Throw in the cheese. I made mashed potatoes last uh, last week. I told I called Maggie and I told her I'm gonna make dinner because she's like I'm I'm coming straight home from work. I'm like okay, I'm gonna make dinner. Thanks. I, I like to cook anyway. <laughs> I fuck her. I prefer to cook anyway. I like, I like I it. Like I like it. How good at cooking am I? So I will tell her I'm like yeah. she she I tell her I'm making pork chops and I get no reaction and I say and mashed potatoes and she's like yes. Pork chops weren't her thing. Oh, so pork chops are not her thing. And I didn't, I thought, I was already here, and I thought I had the, the breading stuff to do the breaded pork chops that she likes. Uh, but I didn't. With or without a bone? Without. I just bought the ones without the bone. They were on sale. <laughs> <laughs> we cussed and we talked about what's on sale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, there, there is a serious question, if you can answer it, that Jeff asked. Yeah. Well, first about of all, Beckley like, said, what's up, homie? Who? Beckley. Beckley. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that earlier. <laughs> nice and uh, warm down. Jeff Little asked, what's the latest total on how much this raffle, raffle has raised for TKA? Amy answered it. It's right. 93, oh, 93 tickets. tickets. So, so I mean, $930. Okay. Sweet. Damn. So it's over halfway there. Oh, yeah. Well, what was the... We did a charity last time we did the raffle. A couple years ago, couple we did that thing for Bond Rucker. Rucker. That, that, that raised Rucker, a couple so. thousand bucks, too, I oh, believe. Oh, no, it was... Way more than that. It was close to three thousand. That's what I was thinking, right? It was For in the that, service yeah. dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's what it was. I couldn't remember. It was right, that whole kayak before. package that we did. Yeah. yeah, it was a fully rigged native boat with 
was guided trips up and down the East Coast. That's right. And then Luther on, yeah. donated parts to it, and everybody had a hand mm -hmm. in it. We somebody got a paddle for it. We got a yeah. jacket. Yeah. Somebody wants to know yeah. how does the Tarpon 130X stack up against the Thresher? Ooh. Two different holes, yeah. so it's really hard. And if to, you put them against each other, they're just yeah, going to rock back and forth. Yeah, kinda. you couldn't stack, you couldn't compare the two. You can't like stack them on top of each other. Totally two really different like, platforms. Um, Maybe he just wants to put them on top of each other, though. It's Jeff. He doesn't know how they stack up. <laughs> does, does he Transportation. Want, do you want Maybe he just comparison? wants to put them on top of each other. I'm thinking they're going to rock back and forth, though. I'd yeah. put them next to each other if I could. <laughs> <laughs> he spilled that custom trailer. Did you see it? I've seen yeah. pictures of it. Jeff Little asked that question? No, 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 um, no, no. That's Jeff, uh, Jeff Gregory. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's just totally two different holes, so I couldn't even say there's any way to compare the two. I mean, you're not going to get one out of the other, what you're trying to do. I mean, that, the thresher, I mean, not that the no, tarpon doesn't fast. go straight and fast right. and forward, but the yeah, thresher is definitely fast. meant to be People are just A to B. Spline boat thresher is more something that follows you when you move with it. The tarpon's a little more, it's not like the tarpon everybody's used to, it's got a little more ride to it, if you will. It flattened out and widened out, but it's got a frame seat in it, so you a little more want that comfortableness. Than, but yeah, there's two different hulls, so I wouldn't even try to compare them or even think that you would want to. Two different boats. I think the volume's bad. Well, <clears throat> I think the volume's kind of rough on this because it's the you know, how the far the cameras. Yeah, it's yeah, the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> we had to knock on the neighbors and see if we could set it up. There's yeah, the only there's not a wide wide yeah. angle on that camera. Yeah, so, it's pretty so far back. there's probably going to be a way we can fix that. Well, you said there was something you can put on. They have camera things that you can. I don't know for your phone, but they have them that you can add to it, and it'll make it a wide lens, and it'll do all different. Oh, the lens literally is fine. The lens has literally got us it's, all. It's fine. because it's, so we're talking about. Well, the lens is on the microphone. Oh yeah, that's in the true. bathroom, right? <laughs> so we have the microphone out. The microphone. Yeah, where, up. When, where I had it, where, or just course. talk louder. Where when I when I tried it out right there at our camera, it was only from right here, right here. It was yeah. tight. There was no wide angle. You'd be out, you'd be out yeah. at all. Yeah. And I don't care. I don't. Nobody. Wants, nobody wants to see me. <laughs> it's not true. Luke. I don't know anybody that rides a Vibe C Ghost One Thirty. Uh, is that like the? That's the mix boat. That's the one that looks like the. Looks like all of the boats. Yeah. The. The Trident Pond. <laughs> I don't know. The only vibe I saw was at the TKA tournament when it was sitting on the floor. I haven't seen I the haven't Trident seen. Pond. The Trident Pond. <laughs> what is that? It's the, the Trident Tarpon mix. Yeah, it's she like goes, a oh. manipulation of two boats that are. It's weird. I don't know. I'm not an animal. I'm a human being. I guess they didn't violate any. Uh, I don't know how they did. Copyrights. I don't know how they mixed both of them so I have together. No, I have no they didn't like straight copy one. They mixed them both. So they didn't violate any copyrights. I don't know. It's a. It's a weird one. I don't. I, I Is mean, there copyrights or patents on on kayaks? Patents, design patents. Yeah, design patents. Design design patents. patents. Yeah, copyrights. Copyrights mat uh, material. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got copyrights, but patents cost a lot more. A shit ton more. That's why when holes go away, so do the molds. Yeah, they, they, get, <laughs> they go away. There's not even. A lot. It doesn't go in the dumpster. The molds go away because that's 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 the whole makeup anyway. Is the mold? That's where you spend your money. Oh yeah, I mean, if you had a mold for a drifter and you had access to plastic, you could make one. Mm -hmm. There's a the <laughs> you guy, know, like, or that? any old kayak that they've read. The guy on the Eastern Shore, what's his name, that owns those touring things, he has an old perception mold that they got rid of, and I think he bought the rights to it in the yeah. mold, like, and now, he, but he gets some container made, like, they, yeah. all, you know, the China made. Shane says it's really not that bad, the sound is not that bad, we don't have to scream at it, um, and uh, he says it's a thousand times better than before. Cool. So what would you run this? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He said a little mic tweaking, and it's one hundred percent. Thanks, Shane. You're, You're so helpful. Also, Somebody's listening. You know, like oh, it might be too. Is my I have my case over the top of it. I can probably oh, pull that yeah. case. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that might help a little yeah. too. Yeah. 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 He said, "Don't worry about it. This podcast it's yeah. bearable. Very bearable." Yeah. Yeah. If we take a break or something, I can fix that. 
if it holds in there. Now it's just a C. Yeah. You said uh -oh. somebody could win an hour and a half on that. Now it's a C. Do that some that yoga while out. you interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the table. Just, yes, kidding. I do still fish from a kayak. I just don't catch anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I went trout. I went trout that's fishing. Honest. That's honest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's I went. That's you, what you think. You, you went trout fishing. You know, went trout fishing a bunch and didn't catch any trout. I caught small ones. Yeah. After uh, small ones, I might have caught a couple seventeen inches. But yeah, I mean, it was. I, and I should probably have been going last week and probably yesterday at high tide to where I want to fish. Because I think that they're just a little behind what I what I really wanted well, to be, and I'm going to be a little colder now than I wanted to be. So I'll just get right. I'm getting like this guy now, but mine's kind of backwards. I was gonna go today, but it was kind of cold and damp. But I can't figure it out because I'll get up at 4 a.m. to go duck hunting in the cold, and it doesn't bother me. But like the fish. But then I thought about it today. So I was like, you know, don't be a pussy loser. Like, why didn't you go? But like when you go duck hunting, you can bundle up because you don't have to do anything else once you're there. Right. But it's hard to fish bundled up, and it's like kind of cold and damp. You know, I don't know. It's just kind of like, well, and it's I'm, not that great to. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just kind of the fishing has been okay. Yeah. So it was just kind of like, how do I get that excited to be just okay to go fishing? But like I said, but it's stupid. Like she's like, you're an idiot because I'll go out there to duck on it. Like last season, I was literally paddling through breaking ice, and it don't bother me. You know, I'm just like, I'm going duck hunting. <laughs> I want to duck hunt, but I can't do that. And I want to like, See, that and can I get a set up at noon? And like, now, if you were to call come in in the evening, or if you were to call me and say, hey Lozier, let's go fishing. I say, yeah, around eleven. Yeah. That's great. Right. <laughs> but to go duck hunting, yeah, like I said, last year I remember the well, last time. you got to be there. I was literally laying the kayak up on the ice, <laughs> breaks through, I paddle and get up, <laughs> just to get out, you know? And Kevin, it didn't me. Kevin and I used to paddle to the first island at 5 o'clock in the morning. We The first day he caught his five cita first citation, Sheep said, I think it was, what, 5.45 in the morning when you this caught guy? it? This guy? Yeah. And then we learned to start fishing the tides. Oh, okay. And so I know that the same thing is going to happen but at now, 4 o'clock in the afternoon that happened at 4 o'clock in the morning. Get up at 3 and go to the HRBT and stuff like that, but yeah, that's exactly. to go fishing. But also, but it's not freezing cold. You don't sit it, still and wait. Like, if I told you, dude, we're going to get them at 3 a.m., like, I go duck hunting, you'd be like, yeah, we but should, if there were also reds, it'd be a different story. For and me. also, I mean, when it was freezing, we were doing the stripers. <laughs> we love to do the stripers. Yeah. But there were At first, out. we started to fish them right. for like all day. But you could catch them and yeah. you would catch them. Well, I mean, but we'd fish them all day and catch them for a couple hours. Figure out. And then right. we realized we could catch, and this is going to flow right into a question that somebody asked a second ago. But Josh's. We, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we started to realize that we were catching them around the change of the tide. And so if we weren't going to go through that big, long drift, if we just had the five time hours. to get out there a little bit. No, not five hours. You're talking about taking the... Paddling out of Cape Charles or out of Cape Topeka, out to 18 or out to Plantation. Well, and I know then where you were down to the other right. and back. So we're talking eight, nine hours. I mean, these were all day trips. We fished. About a while ago, then, when we had trips. Yeah, yeah, when they were catching. Yeah. We started fishing. And then, <laughs> well, but if we, if we didn't have that all day Not window really. and you wanted to catch them, we realized you could start catching them at the tide change. As long as you were out there for the couple of hours the tide was changing and so, especially when we had the cabin we could go back to, we come out and fish for two hours and go back, and people would see us coming and going. Like, they still be out fishing, and we just come and go. <laughs> so, would you be so kind and repeat one more time how many times the kayak was actually in the water at the About Five, he said. Six, six, I'm counting myself. Yeah, six. Six times in the water. So, where did that question go? Did you see... No, oh, there, uh, no. When we look at the camera, we face, we, the Jeff is yeah. fine. Yeah. All right, I'm bad at that. Well, you're loud as fuck. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter. You can't. It was the one again. Oh, really loud if you have too. children, please remove them that's, from the room. That's, that's what it is. You, we work in a loud environment. So you really got to yell loud. constantly. Yeah, yeah. Which is fine, because I can hear you all the time on the water. Okay, so about, uh, I guess we'll go ahead, water. we can go back into the kayak a little there's been, bit. There's been some times where I, I, I'm quiet, I'm by myself, I'm just kind of quiet all day, and I get, we'll get, we'll get together or something in, in a quiet room, and he just goes, ah, da, da, da. and I'm like, oh shit, eardrums like pushing in on my ears, just like, ah, yeah, shit, my own right, right, like right here, right here, right here. It's like hitting like the truck, dude, I get you. It's like I can feel like the concussion of his voice, boom, 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 boom. It's yeah. a comedy show. <laughs> Josh, Josh, your eyes. 
You guys sh- shooting the shit or doing a podcast? Well, this is a podcast. <laughs> right. yeah, it's exactly. Is this your fir- his first? <laughs> I don't know, baby. Yeah. He, this, he's a buddy of mine. He used to work at the uh, marina yeah. with me. So when you research a new species, what steps do you take and how do you learn about the fish that you're targeting? You ask Kai Kevin. Yeah. No, that's he's asking yeah. Kevin. Though. Oh, yeah. Where are you guys? You guys. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Here we go. Start. All right. Uh, first, I was going to say something really shitty. So. Go ahead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just let it go. I'm going to let it go. You go to a certain group on Facebook? <laughs> no. I just go to Facebook and I ask a lot of annoying questions. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually I go out there and follow people. Yeah. Or well, you, just, Sam, Sam, you keep asking somebody until they break. Right. You keep asking, they'll break. Sooner or later, they'll break. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's going to mess up a picture and put it on some background. <laughs> Google. Start with Google. Time on the water. Yeah. Well, first of all, what, what are you going to target? Okay, say so you're going to target reds. Well, I'm, here's what I'm, I'm targeting fish in waters that I've only been to once next year. So well, I'm just going to okay. say, it depends on yeah. where this, the body of water is. Is it a year-round fishery? Is it a migratory fishery right. like we have? So all, I mean, that, all, all that, that has so to be figure factored out, Figure out what, you, what, what fish, figure out what he does. What what how it eats how it's migration right? it's migration with time of year is the spawning, best spawning non spawning to what it's doing and that's as simple as even going in and, and looking at Wikipedia on the fish itself sure like actually that's why I say like Google or look at your states know the fish know the like fish fishery fishery right. information yeah you can start on there but that's funny because that's kind of cool because that's kind of how uh, lately I've been doing the seminars when I go to clubs instead of everybody always wants to know what's your lure what's your time you know what kind of line do you use. But if you don't understand what you're targeting, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. You know, is it up feed or is it a down feeder? Yeah. Does it like is to get it up? Fast? Is, is it fast? Is it daytime, is it nighttime? Ambush? Yeah, it's like you, you got to know that. Like, it doesn't matter. I could give you the best lures, uh, I think, or the best whatever, real rod and everything. But if you don't know what the hell you're throwing to or where, it doesn't matter. So exactly. understanding the fish before anything, the fish I mean, is neat. you can do 80% of that fishing from your computer before you leave the house. Yeah. Understanding the fish to tackle everything you need to catch it, just like the other day, a guy asked me, he's like, about talk, he's like, does anybody ever use artificial? And I said, Because mm. no. we asked Dr. Julie Ball the same thing. Well, we've all tried something, you know, like, but gulps, yeah, exactly, that was the question, you ever try gulps? People try to fly, it's just, people try, it, yeah. it's just, yeah. but there is a video somebody showed me the other day, told us of a guy catching talk, I gotta find it, you guys can Google it, on the fly, at night. Yeah, at the bridge. That was crazy. Dude. Catching them on the fly at night. I've heard yeah. about this. And I, I think that is super cool. And one of the guys at the shop, Google, I was like, "What the hell are you talking about?" Were they top or something? Yeah, they were yeah. kind of feeding in the light. But the, so everything you don't think of tog fishing, nighttime, a yeah. fly rod, and feeding up. You know, so yeah. it's just like everything opposite of how we, you know, most people think to fish and talk. But anyway, I've seen back them to on pilings when I was driving. By, sure, I've had boats. flounder sky next to me. You know, I mean, I've seen flounder, but I usually fish on a flounder. Yeah. We know I, would, people that I don't usually use fish. top water for flounder. <laughs> Walk the dog. I caught twelve flounder today. <laughs> top water. But you caught them on top water before. But nah, I caught them on retrieving not on up. Purpose. Right. Retrieving up like oh, a mirror lure. Yeah, they follow it. Yes. But I mean, literally, I, I had one time where they shot right. Like he skied on bait right next to me. It was like I wish I had like. No, it was the coolest thing ever. See a flounder coming out like this. I've seen one too. Chasing and and the way he he came up sideways. My, oh, when right. I saw it in clear view, like from here to the door, like we're looking right That's there. That's where mine was. It just happened. Yeah, uh, and he came up sideways, mouth like normal, like mouth down, sideways down and up, like came up and down on the base. And it was like that was a flounder, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the only <laughs> I knew of mine because it kind of had the brown. It was kind of side, but I saw the brown spots and everything. Yeah. And it was kind of flapping too, because I guess I was like, you know, you're moving slow. Like, That's a fucking flapper. But anyway, I hope that answered the question about the species. I mean, learning, it, understanding. How that fish feeds and everything about the fish, and that's and that's the start of it, because yeah. that's that's where no, you're going to get real information, about it. right? And you're going to waste your time just beating the water to death yeah. trying. I mean, trying to do like I said, you can do 70, 80 percent of your homework about the species before you you leave the house. I mean, something like Kevin's doing with his tour, he's going to change fishing for you can fish for that Every, same species. Ten different ways or more as you travel up the yep. coast. Everything is going to be different, yep. especially like when you get in that Georgia, South Carolina area with twenty foot tides. 
yeah. mean, I, re I remember fishing down there and paddling and seeing oysters just poking out of the water going, oh yeah, I I'll have to come back and fish over here. And I went back at low tide <laughs> and those oysters were like above my head. Like I'm paddling, I was like, I was just here yesterday and those oysters, I was almost on top, same level mm -hmm. of them. So you got to, I mean, that's, that's, that's a real challenge is the different, I mean, like I said, you could pick a species that would be found in that whole tour yep. and you would fish it. 10, different 20 ways. different ways. And every, every, every tide, changes. every challenge, everything that changes, <laughs> and it's food, everything that it does changes. And on that, where I'm, where I'm out, just out there, I'm not really, I'm doing no, local knowledge. I'm actually, i actually asking people when I'm passing sure. by what's going on and stuff like that. And and that's how I got the information about the, the Reds in, in Maryland. When I was on my tour, I actually stopped and this guy was, we were just kind of, just talking, you know, he wasn't, you could see I was, what I was doing, I wasn't trying to find a spot right. and shit, you know. I'll be back like, for the next month. I was long. just like, yeah, I'm traveling, what's going on up here? Like, what's actually happening up here? Like, for real. And he said, reds, we have, we've had a red drum fishery for five years. I'm like, holy shit, because they left our area in the summer and now they're up here. <laughs> your, uh, your bay tour, when That's you got up north about, yeah. and the people, were, well, the other yeah. bay tour, when you got up north in the, uh. Oh, yeah. Stripers. Yeah. <laughs> and the guys hooked you up with the lures. And this when you were in Florida and the snook lures. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The and one then, you still got hung on the wall yeah. in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh, yeah, the, 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 when I got up in the northern part of the bay, all my gear was like jig heads and stuff, and, and it was all white perch, and I, didn't, I needed the right. rooster tails. And the kid, yeah, and these things were tail. suspended, shit. more suspended. Wasn't like, catching shit. Wasn't catch, it was just too, everything I had was just too big. And it was, it was just, you know, salt water. And it was just, he gave me those lures, and as soon as I, as soon as I put it on, made the castle. I was like, bam, I just nonstop catching. Right. I changed my days. Like, I'm not paddling today. I'm catching today. <laughs> it's nonstop. But. Sometimes it's all about how you ask, too. Mm -hmm. Are you asking the right questions for what you're looking for the answers for? Are you? Asking? That was a perfect question. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. Not yeah. where. What do you? You know, what I'm like, exactly. Yeah. So I get to you know all the time with people. I just like you say, there's this like or. What do you look for when you're, you know what I'm saying? Like, why don't you ask it that way? Like, hey, when I'm fishing there, what do I look for? You know, yeah, yeah. where do you catch the fish? You know, Point, like, points, structure, yeah. corners, yeah. this time. Yeah. What are you yeah. looking Drop for? Offs. What are you yeah. looking for? And that's, and that's good enough. If, if I get that, I'm good. I can go off of that. You give me a point, drop off, dock. Cool. I can start Structure. there and eventually I'm going to catch something and that's going to build my confidence and then I'm going to catch more and then I'm going to keep using that and then I'm going to catch more and then I can catch shit and then I'm going to change up and retrieve. Forget the retrieve I did. Catch something. Go. God damn it. That's why I tell clients. That's why I tell clients when they catch that first fish of whatever it is. What'd you just do? Yeah. You remember what you were doing? Nope. Now do it again. <laughs> that's, it obviously it worked. You know. So were you but fast? Were you slow? Were you stop? Were you pause? Yeah. You yeah. Know? Well, how were you? How were you retrieving that lure? And if you remember what you did, just try to duplicate. That's it. the hardest thing. But sometimes when you're not catching, no. and you start your mind drifting, on just bouncing around all of a sudden, man, whoa, what was I just doing? Where was I? Ugh. Like, you know, you try to do some, some suspended stuff, like uh, uh, structure, uh, uh, pil piling sheephead fishing. Mm -hmm. You know, we're in the, in the wall of columns. You, it could be 10 feet down, it could be 20 right. feet down. Uh, you can't hook one, where was I? Yeah, yeah, was yeah. I was like halfway down. I was like, I started down, the bottom, work my way up, I, up. up. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing that's funny, too, just on that. Like, here we catch them, sheephead. Mm. Crab. Mm. You go down like Florida, places they use shrimp. Yeah. You know, like different things. Even Carolina sometimes. But like here, most people, you know, filler crabs or whatever, clam, you know, just different. Even what they feed on differently. I remember being in Florida fishing a dock. For, I could see the sheephead. Mm -hmm. And the fucking things wouldn't bite without, you know what I'm saying? And they catch them on freaking, uh, like mirror the uh, X wraps and shit down yeah, in Florida. That's what I'm saying. I was like, and, and I had like I a was, little crab and stuff, and didn't even think about it. When like, I, I was just like, "What the fuck? We catch my home on these? Why are they even here?" You know. And, and, well, and then the guy said, know? "Live in you know, Florida, everything's live shrimp. What you catch that tarpon on? Live shrimp. What you catch that blue marlin on? <laughs> <laughs> everything's shrimp. Prawns. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you go to a bait shop, they got three tanks of three different size shrimp. You know. That yeah, we like, eat here. Yeah, exactly. We wouldn't try to catch fish when we eat them. That's how I know in the tackle shop. I mean, so what is it? A dozen, what is a dozen eaters? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. People come to the tackle shop, they got, you got live shrimp. I said, dude, if we got live shrimp, we eat it. We don't waste it on fish, dude. We're gonna eat them things. Dude. Did you uh, did you hear about the actual shrimp fish we we had this year? Did you hear about that? Mm. Up in New York River, there was real good. Oh, like, really? Really like cast net? Yeah, like good people were getting shrimp and bushels. And Do we have rules for that? Do we have rules for shrimp? Not yet. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I am. We didn't have women on. We didn't have women on sea bass years ago either. <laughs> this was after the rains and everything. Oh, but yeah. I've been hearing about it more and more. More people are seeing them. More people are catching them. More people catching them in cast nets. And then I saw um, one of the commercial guys cast net them in the, in Lynn Haven and was getting a good pile of them. I was just getting ready to say, you know, where we we haven't done it this year. We need to get out there. Where we make our drifts for the striper at night and all. A lot of times you'll see them in there. And even when it's cold, like you know, because you're yeah. just striper fishing, and you'd see them in the. Yep. They're pulling through the water and stuff. So I'm sure we do have Actually, them, did see but it's not Lynn such Haven. a sustainable fishery, or is it a food source? I think that like things, if it's there, they're going to eat it. But do you go out and buy a bunch of shrimp and try? So you know what I'm saying? And I think sometimes when you're using the dead shrimp, it's more of a smell and a texture thing. I don't think it's always the. How fast do they have so many shrimp here they eat. <laughs> now, yeah, in Florida, like where Joe, where Bassini is, I mean, we fish around shrimp the whole time in top sail. Yeah, bumping around your boat. Jumping in your boat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're just popping all over the wow. place. But that's the thing is what I was getting at is, is it's they're, they showed up here more this year than any numbers we've ever seen before. Maybe that would become a trend. I like, wonder why. That's the same thing. Water clarity. I was going to say our water quality has been a lot better, though, this year. What was here more? catches What was here more? Shrimp. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like serious well, Dude, they're off the piers, like, actually, I don't know about today, but for the past two weeks, they've been off the piers down south on the Outer Banks just annihilating the shrimp. Yeah, like, just, just off the come piers. out of here. Yeah. 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 Ken was, for two months, That's Ken what threw his, his side. At his side, uh, York that, River. Yeah. I went over to, one night, I tried. I just, me and Larry decided to try. We went to Jay's old backyard over here and caught a dozen yeah. eaters. Yeah, yeah. In like yeah, 30 minutes, just mess around. Yeah, for real. It, we might end up, might you show could up. could have gone. I remember one time when I was a kid, man, and this was before they did all the replenishment at the oceanfront, and there was a sandbar. I remember being like 10, 11 years old, and being in that sandbar slough, and there were shrimp like this big, just every, just migrating through that sandbar slough the whole day. It was like we were like chasing them down and throwing them up onto the beach, and like you know, what I mean? like scooping them with our hands and throwing them towards the beach. They were so far out; you wouldn't make very many of them. But I mean, they were tiny. But yeah, I mean, I remember that here. Yeah, it seems like that's starting to happen. At least this year, maybe because those rains. I don't well, know. There's what a happened. lot of fish and just things in general that seem to be like more southern species that we're getting, getting up. And I think it's a water, but I think that's kind of why you see like flounder fishery is getting better. Jersey yep. and not as good here as we. I think that's a fish that's moving its way up too because right. of the water temperatures and things. I think everything. Right. Yeah, but you see and hear. I mean, tarpon right outside of Rudy were caught. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, not that I secret saw stuff. Five I mean, the guy years right ago, out there fishing. <laughs> yeah, five or six years ago, maybe a couple more than that. I saw three off yeah. the Sandbridge Pier one day, rolling right next yeah. to me. Right. I'm just saying, there's just I think you see a lot of stuff that's happening. I think what else am I in Jamaica Bay? So, they caught 30 inch reds this year. They, there was obviously uh, a school in there and they caught a couple. Uh, she said up to 20 some inches. They're starting to catch those now. More up there. They used to be there. Now they're getting coming back. So that's. It was it like two years ago? So, a guy weighed in a 40. Well, he weighed in. He took in a 42 inch red drum in Boston. That's right. That's right. He didn't know what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, but that's, that's like that's one fish in my Yeah. Get caught in Boston, I mean. But anyway, you imagine that, like, catching a red drum, being like, I don't know what this is. I got to take this to the tackle shop. I don't know what I got. I just understand. I can understand that people not know what the fuck you have. like, I got this. You know? And I got this. What is this? You know, for everybody here. Remember when a walleye got washed into the spillway and the guy caught in salt water and brought it up? Oh, yeah. You know what it was? Yeah. Yeah. Same time. Same time. thing. This is not a saltwater fish. <laughs> right. You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> so, there were record number. The Omega, I mean, yeah, Omega basically left the bay alone in our area this year. So there were record numbers of Menhaden in our area. Crabs are at record numbers. And oysters are doing nothing but increasing every single year. Yeah. The species that they used to catch closer to the beach in the boats like the, the pelagics that, you know, are the mahi and stuff like that, are moving closer and closer every year. Like, we're more and more fish are moving into these areas. The blue water's pushing in cleaner. There were amberjacks at inshore wrecks this year, some of them. I, I wasn't there, but I've got reports of several mm -hmm. amberjacks being caught at inshore wrecks this year. The only thing bad about that is I get everybody with a single engine coming in a tackle shop. <laughs> 
Well, but also, you know, <laughs> it's just it's the, it's the number of filter fish, crabs, and well, there's a reason for clean the in the water. Is that why the clue wall? I mean, was the bay that dirty that it was keeping Obviously. the fish? Away from here, we and the water's cleaning Obviously. up that we much. We have dead zones in that the you bay. have actually fish coming further up the ocean, yeah. closer to what this area. Yep. They so said they're catching. And, and Rick and I talk about that. Yeah. Seahorses on the inside, and that's a big sign that you sea, have good. You good, have to have good, good water. water. Seahorses sea and pipefish. Sure, right? Seahorses and pipefish. Right. Sea horses and pipe fish. Pipe we fish have seahorses sea periodically here in. That's what I'm saying. Right, but yeah, right up the eastern shore they've had. I've seen. I've seen them on the. Eastern Shore, Eastern Bay Side, Bay or Bay Ocean Side. Side. Ocean Side. Amy, Ocean Amy Side. had one on her crab pot this year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's so good. Uh, that's a great. It song. takes Huge. really stable water to keep a seahorse alive. Right, and they can't leave the water that they're in very fast. So. They're kind of fucked if it happens. If, water, if the water's bad. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the water's bad. Yeah, what's that word fucked. again? Remember? <laughs> 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 she was drinking. No, I was going to watch Was it expected? 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 Was it expected?
I was just, I was, what, I, was, oh, yeah. what, I was questioning, what the fuck happened? I will give you a burp, if they were questioning about that in the Lincorn area, two days after that happened, Chris, myself, and Jimmy Miller were fishing where that turd infested water was and catching drum and trout, oh, yeah. so it it's didn't bait. bother anything. It's 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 same. Same. I mean, the bait water maker's a little browner, but yeah, bait like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would eat an oyster right that now, I did. Yeah. I did, when, um, when I was first started kayak fishing, I did go fishing right after a hurricane and got sick from it. I got sick from the water. Like, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. wear a waiter, so I right. got, I got, yeah. Yeah, I got yeah, I mean, I'm not said, sick I as a bird, but I was like, oh, I'm not, I've got a stomach, something The smell, on. well, you could smell it too, like when we were out there, it had that kind of rotten egg yeah. smell. Sometimes, man, a red tide smell can get It did this year. Yeah. I thought red I tide is an algae type of it plume. Is. It's really not bacteria or anything. Red tide actually, or... Our, our, our red tide's not a Florida red tide. No, it's Definitely a cyano. Not. Honey, your phone's ringing. That's my mom. That's my mom. But that's so bring her on. <laughs> <laughs> Face but time. It did stink this year. I did smell the, the algae blooms out there this year, or whatever, whatever the red, our red tie is. Our, yeah. Our, our, I did smell it. It was. If uh, Corey was is still pungy. watching, he'll say, uh, he, Corey was on here earlier. If Corey is still watching, he knows he has the, it, yeah. it's like a million letters in one word, <laughs> but it's <laughs> unpronounceable. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's a bloom of some kind or something. I can't remember, but I read Caucus. it every year when he puts... When people talk about it, I read about it. I read what he writes every year. Yeah, yeah but I, I can smell it more this year. I thought it was a movie with Sean Connery. Red Tide. Red Tide. Red Tide. That's what? Nothing. <laughs> Is that wrong? Hunt for Red October with oh, the Sean Connery nice. movie to be executive. You want anything about subs? <laughs> I don't one. know nothing about subs. <laughs> She oh watches, boy! She watches every sub movie that comes on a hundred times. That's not true. a German though. <laughs> German, yeah. U one forty. It's U five seven one. I saw you. Don't don't try. You will lose. Uh -huh. No, oh, that was a pretty good. What one. was the one with Steven Seagal? Down uh, down Paris. Down Paris. <laughs> no, that was that was that was Kelsey Grammer. That was the Kelsey Grammer. It was supposed to be one. here, and there's mountains in the background, and there's no Nova. channels inside the Norfolk channels that deep. Where for a uh, sub to go underneath a tanker ship. Right. Nope. I'm <laughs> all <laughs> picking apart a Kelsey Grammer well, comedy. Not a podcast. Well, well, the face comedy movie. Well, well, what, what was the Steven Seagal when they were in the uh, sub? Was it a sub? It was a sub. It was a sub. Your mom left your voice, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't watch sub movies. We're not going to answer. This, yeah, he was a cook. Wasn't he? Yeah. Was it a sub or was it just a regular movie? Somebody answer so we can go on? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what's going on here? What's what is Steven Seagal movie? No, no, like, we go from 20 to 24 people, back and forth. People hate us. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's because of the words. Uh, probably not. No, not our group. No. These people are still friends with me on Facebook. <laughs> Check when we get off. <laughs> What'd you start with? Hmm. All right. All right. Yeah, get this one out fast. I know, man. Right? Like it's just a Steven Seagal one. Can't remember that Corey one. didn't tell us the movement of caucus flicking. Under siege! Under siege. <laughs> was that, yeah. Yeah. that was not oh. a submarine movie. That wasn't? It was no. a Navy one. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's what I was thinking. I wasn't sure if it was a submarine yeah. movie. Under siege? It was just a Navy movie. It was a submarine in it, well, but yeah. the whole movie wasn't right. based on I thought on he, Steven Seagal was in the submarine. He actually was the submarine. <laughs> It couldn't have been all that good if and I Chuck Norris showed up. He's going to Google it right oh, now. Oh, going. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 I tell you, man, I do it all the time. I Google shit like, quick to it, too. It stops any bullshit of argument. Like, any what? kind of, like... Oh, yeah. We, we any kind of, TV. I'm like, who is that actress? I do it quick. I do it myself. I'm watching TV. I'm like, who was that? Told you. I know my movies. Exactly. Yeah, I, I totally... You got it on there? It's not, not a sub movie. It's not, not a sub. submarine on the cover there. Battleship, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, battleship, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was good. It was close. Because it's the Navy. Is he still alive? <laughs> is Steven Seagal still alive? Yeah, he's, he's still, still kicking ass. Like, acting like he's training fighters. Really? <laughs> he was showing up in like Anderson Silva stuff a couple years ago, like like his like his. Yeah, Guru. He's probably got some Rex Kwon Do thing going on. Yeah, yeah, that's not what it's at. That's not what it's at. <laughs> what it seems like, anyway. He's all big and shit. 
He's all fat as Yeah, fuck. he's fat as fuck. Yeah, he's fat as fuck. He was been working out like much. super black belt though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's legit. Yeah. He's legit, but he yeah. just, when you look at him now, it's like, oh man, come on. <laughs> Take it's it. like drunk Van Damme. Probably not. <laughs> Yo, somebody's not that. Like, yeah, somebody's not that. A couple of beers. Finish the golf. Mold Steven Seagal was you're under siege. Martial uh, arts. No, he was uh, what do you call it? Akita. 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 It's that hot keto. Use, hot keto. No, Akita. Hot, this yeah, one, Akita. The throws hot, and yeah, right. that's why. Use their energy against the water. My uncle is a black belt water, in right? Akita. It's a counter, counter, yeah. counter throws. My yeah. uncle is a black belt. Has an academy in Virginia Beach. Anybody have any fishing <laughs> questions? Please. <laughs> Anything? <laughs> Kayak. We're gonna really take our belts out and show. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dory Field said if he could fish with two people the rest of his life, it'd be you. you. The two of you. The losers. Is that what he said? Yeah. It's not going to help you win the kayak. <laughs> oh, we seen him say, yeah. It's random. It's random. It's a random draw. <laughs> no, no sub. It was on a destroyer. Ha! <laughs> I hate Messini. <laughs> you Google it. You Google it. Dick now, it Joe's out. got his movie thing down. Now he can. He, he doesn't can. have a. Oh, that, what else is he going to do? <laughs> Sit on troll on Facebook. Uh-oh. Watch movies. It's on now. Yeah, you know, it's coming. Well, I, yeah. I, I, was, when he, I like when he shot when he shot full auto the other day. It was just good to see somebody actually like lean into a rifle, man. I've seen Joe. Joe. Well, of course, I knew he, was, he could shoot him. There's no doubt. He could oh, he put up a video of him shooting. Yeah, yeah. You uh, never see it. Hit his target and he locks it into full auto. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold but he's not even into it. I, I just see too many people see, you need on to that back. Hopefully, he practices on Billy next time he heads that way. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I joked him on, I joked him on that, on that one because it was a little side, like little silhouette on the back in the corner. So you trying to hit that little guy in the corner? Yeah. <laughs> one of the rounds, a couple of rounds got away from him, yeah. See, maybe you need to take Joe duck hunting. <laughs> no, he can't use a semi-automatic. I'm not, it, was it was full. It was full automatic. Uh, Can you only full. use three duck hunting? Three shells. Three? Oh, you got to plug your gun back for duck hunting now? No, you have to. Or you, yeah, okay. Plug in for duck yeah. hunting. You yeah. used to have to plug your gun in Virginia for deer. I don't know yeah. nothing about hunting. Don't want to have nothing. There used to be a three shotgun, three yeah. shot shotgun limit for deer. Do you practice? But when you, when you practice like popping them in? Unless you got some hell of a rainstorm of ducks coming down, believe me, yeah, after three shells, they're pretty yeah. gone. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like, like you yeah, need that. No, two! Yeah. No, the word it is no. Yeah, <laughs> it's no. Bam, 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 shit. Yeah, no. Scrambling, you don't have to. Nah, it's not. I mean, you just have to have a rainstorm of birds coming in. They've been flying. Very but you do high. have them ready. I mean, you can throw one back in the open breach. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And I use a semi too, so it just you got yeah. it all smooth like. Like you just holding it and you just like throw the round up and just kind of lay it down. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it sound so good. You saw that. Back to the like 3 o'clock in the morning, ice cold. Yeah, let's go back to that because that's what that's, that's the part. I The part that gets to what he likes, that's the part that I'm not cool and with. And then you have to sit still. <laughs> oh, you yeah. sit still. But see, sit that's the part still I, in the dark, even in the cold. Up, I don't think I can do it because that's what I didn't like about striper fishing. Yeah, I'd rather be paddling or something. Like even the drift, I'm like, I uh, need to go paddle in a circle or something. Cause I get cold just sitting right. there. Yeah. But it's just, I mean, you got to even duck hunting. I mean, yeah. you can't even open well, your eyes. Well, plus the sun's coming up too, so you're getting into a warmth, right? And we're striper fishing, it's warm into the freezing cold. cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hate to, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously you got the right gear and everything, you're fine and, you know, dress right. And actually sometimes that's to the disadvantage because you do paddle to it. So you're kind of hot, but you got to yeah. think in your mind, once you're done setting your decoys, you get everything done, you are sitting back down. So yeah. you don't want to be cold. So. How long do we wait for How long do you guys stay out there before they start popping around? First light. I mean, they'll come in. So you, you want to get set up at least by the end. You want to be chilling for at least an hour or something like that. Yeah, about a half an hour, hour. Yeah, I mean, you're allowed to shoot 20 minutes before posted first light. So, and I mean, you'll literally have them. I've had them come in. I'll, Ted Crum and I were fishing in a swamp one time. They came in and landed right next to us. It was so dark. I was just like, this is going to make a mess. I can't shoot this. And I was like, I mean, literally, Ted's like, did they land on your lap? I was like, damn, you know, I'm in. Next to me. How to get Just crab his head. Did you see my picture last week when I duck hunted with Evan? Uh-uh. We get back to the ramp and there's like these bunch of domestic ducks come up to us and like, you know, and I was like, if they only knew, we were just over there like an hour ago, blasting at their cousins and shit. And he's feeding them and stuff. And everything. I'm just like, those are the delicious ones. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> well, I had my truck door open because I was loading all my stuff up, and one like started poking. I said, "Get in, go ahead." Yeah. you're going home, Dad. Well, shit. When, when I was when I was a kid, I saw my my you come hang out with the, the next door neighbor is an old guy, retired guy, and uh, he was feeding the ducks. He said, "You want this one?" Can't just grab his neck. And he's just like, rah, 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 rah. he's holding on. So I was like, "Oh shit!" It's like, "No, that's cool, that's cool." Yeah, he's like, "All right, just let it go, go again." Yeah, I put a picture. I was like, "They only knew what we were just doing a little while." And I don't know why we can't eat Canadian geese like anytime we want, like anytime, like. Go right now and go blast one. She don't, don't even need to blast it, just it, slingshot them. Those, those you know, are and it's kind of funny. Yeah. But they, they eat them all the time. Is, is it migratory ones or the best? Okay, so I was down. Real that was next step. Like, not golf course geese. Not the ones Canadian. that are hanging here. These probably aren't as, as Well, you don't know whether they're all. Grass eaters? I mean, That's all they're not right? good? The grass. Oh, you gotta consider that grass. what all the people feed them. Believe it or not, shit, they eat. And watch Corey, what they eat. That's they're like around. They're the number or... one pollutant around here. It's yeah. not dog poop. It's goose poop. Yeah, yeah. You, any, Seriously, any area that they own or yeah. say goby ducks. That's those things are. You don't see cool. them, mate. You oh. don't see those though. Don't know what that yeah, what? It's one of those almost like a turkey on the head. It's like a turkey. Oh yeah, yeah, white. White ducks, domesticated ducks, right? No, no you're talking dark. The muscovies, the ones with molted and yeah, yes. kind of like a turkey in the head, and then and part of them you always see them around parks. They interbreed ducks. with other species. Yeah, these species white that makes them yeah. sometimes. No, these have like a whitish head, but they have black body. But they're wild. Yeah, they're not. So right. They're yeah. actually not even supposed to be from this area. They're like tropics. They're the Asian they, carp. They're like they're, 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 they're not Mexico. Like Mexican, <laughs> like they're the Mexican. No, I said they're the Asian carp of the foul world. Like right. they're the ones that like came in. Nobody <laughs> yeah, they come from like in Mexico, Central America style, but uh, some of them come up this way. I don't know. My dad had them living in his back. Like, I had one forever. years ago laid eggs right underneath my front door. like a bush out there and they laid eggs over my little by trash more. I <laughs> <laughs> see duck eggs are real good for me. I mean, they're real big. Yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. Fry them. Yeah. Two egg omelet there. Right. <laughs> I'll get a picture of us. Yeah, we've had, them, we've had them next to my parents' yeah. deck. They live on, my parents yeah. live on the lake that's next to my trash. i never seen in our neighborhood. We live on Lake Joyce, you know, over there. And yeah. man, there's so many ducks in there every day. Yeah. She's always laughing at me because I'm driving. I'm like, there's... Teal and mallards. Because they, they know it's a safety zone. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I'm just, just like, I want to just a deer and kip the peak. I right, swear right. they know. <laughs> they know that nobody can get them there. Dude, those deer and kip the peak get hunted like twice yeah. a season. Yeah. They get hunted a lot by vehicles. Yeah. They just get plowed. <laughs> we went over there a couple of weeks ago, and that's what I had to go over at night, and I was just like, come on. I didn't see that. That was so much fun. I used to go to that place. When we. Did I used to go there. drive around there, man, and I would put Gracie in my truck mm -hmm. and let her drive in the passenger seat, and I'd drive right up next to the deer. You know, I've been hanging. And just let her out of the truck, and she'd jump and chase. She, she, she won't run out of sight. Right. So I was never scared she would chase them very far. And as a matter of fact, she didn't know what a deer smelled like, so as it was running, she was just chasing something moving, and she would chase them things. One day... I let her out of the truck, and it was like the, there was the field of them, and it was like two of them at the beginning of the field, and then like a hundred, <laughs> literally a hundred of them. Gracie goes right back there. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. She chased the two. The two jumped and ran, and she lost sight of them. And I'm like staring at the the hundred of them just crossing from the campground area into the wooded area, from the campground to that woods. You know how wide that area it's is. Field, yeah. They were like, dude, they were just um, in the campground area. Yeah. And I was like, look at them, look at them. And she's like, back in the truck, back in the truck. Let me back in, let me back in. Let's go find more. Step on it. He's like, let's go find more, let's go find more. But yeah, I would just roll her up right next to her, let her jump out of the truck and chase uh, them. Those deer don't get hunted like that. And she, she chased those things from like 50 yards at the most. Yeah. Turn around and come back to the car like I didn't get that one. Yeah. That, one didn't, that one didn't want to play. Like, <laughs> What's wrong with it? Yeah, I try to hunt uh, rabbits with with my cat in my backyard. Like, well, I'll get I'll get the the, the cat. Has he killed one yet? No, fuck no, he can't. He's too big. He's too big. <laughs> yeah. He's eighteen pounds, man, and and he can't. How much? He's eighteen pounds. He's a full. Main coon, it's, huge. it's oh. those big. Oh, yeah, so yeah, he, yeah. Can't, yeah. he can't get the corners. Nah, he can't get this. He can get the straight speed, but as soon as those things take a corner, he's he like, that stalking. <laughs> yeah. He starts like fumbling over his feet. <laughs> <laughs> he just can't. Yeah. Yeah. Like cartoon. Well, what's really cool is the way his fur is, his stocking, he just looks like a mound because his fur blends in. Uh, and actually, yeah. It almost looks like this instead of like this. He looks he just, it almost looks like yeah. a badger. Yeah. Yeah. He looks yeah. like a badger as he walks. It's crazy looking. He's real camouflage, but then he takes off and he's just. He's just too big. But the little one, she can almost get him. 
you know, because she's like a small little cat. But so I'll, I'll nimble her. I'll, I'll, I'll more nimble. You know, the rabbits they don't take off first. First time you see them, they'll just hang out, and I'll get around the tree and like flush them out, and they'll take off. And, <laughs> like, oh, you almost had it. Sometimes you can't see it. I'm like, I gotta pick him up, and he's mad at me because I'm picking up. He's like, I'm like, look, put it down, face him. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> He's like mad at me first. He does that little. <laughs> How to <'d> go? <laughs> somebody record that. We're gonna play it back. It is being recorded. No, I mean somebody else, so we can throw it in on him when he's not expecting it. That's a, that's cool. Nice little stump. <laughs> Green crabs are not local. I mean, uh, there may be some in our waters. Well, there probably is now from yeah. everybody who buys them and doesn't. But they're, they're not local. Lo anybody that you buy green crabs from are not getting them from around here. No. They're coming from up north. Um, man, if you're going to get green crab shipped in, find somebody that will ship you in whites. White leggers? Yeah, they come from the same area, man. <laughs> if you can get one, you can might be able to get the other. I'd get the other. Jonas. Just, to, yep. Just Jonas. To say, I mean, I, I. Should you fish those live or should you kill them before you fish them? The just because. It depends on the size. Because it's not a local species. That's. You're supposed to kill them when you're done for the day if you're going to throw them overboard. You usually kill them when you hook them in terrible. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you anyway. take a, when you hook a craft through the outside of its spine like that, I think it's pretty much yeah, you done. Break its they, legs they die and, on the hook. Yeah. But I, it depending, it depends on the work size. Out right, the, the Jonas process. are not, the Jonas, the white leg crabs are not invasive to this area. They no, we get here, them. and huh? you can catch them. Um, I've seen them. In I've caught them. Yeah, I've seen them. But in the green crabs, walking across the, like the spider crabs. Yeah, I've seen them. They're but not, the green I'm crabs, crabs green crabs are from Jersey, right? Yeah, they're white leggers and Jonas. They get out deep. Um, I just lobster don't, pots. Yeah, I don't think we're cold enough enough to keep that, green exactly crab the population up. Otherwise, we keep we'd them. have them by now because we get the same ships in our ports that they got that, that they get We there. keep them in ice in a bag, like packed like you and I, and they stay alive forever. Like, yeah. Where blue crabs, like you put them on you know, cardboard on top of ice, and you and they kind of like these green crabs, they will just stay ice cold. They So they definitely come from colder water. We Camera is out of focus. Sorry. Oh. Hmm. We'll try and sit still. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want to see us that good? Yeah. Yeah, um, I definitely, I'm, I'm, I know guys funny that catch the, the green, I know guys that catch their Jonas here. It's funny with the green crabs, because we used to only be able to sell them dead and frozen or whatever. We couldn't sell them alive. Right. So then we started being mm -hmm. able to carry them alive. And now it's funny, like, when I, we don't have green crabs for whatever reason because the guys aren't bringing them down we can't get them and we got frozen ones over no i don't want them frozen like you used to, everybody was fine with getting them frozen work, but they now that frozen. they had them live they right. work frozen they just don't stay on the hook as well but if, if i didn't have crab right if, if the fish are if crab, you want to go togging they will eat them right for sure but it's just funny like i said how people get trained like, oh, if you don't got any live green well there's none around so you're gonna buy these frozen ones because i mean if a couple of the major places here don't have them, then nobody's got them. You know, it, it takes some money to get them down here and keep yeah. them. So From what I understand, blue crabs are done now. I guess our crabbers have had like nothing. Anymore. It's gotten cold, right? That's what Christmas, I'm saying. Good so Christmas presents to... for cri fishing people. Gift cards. Gift cards. DVDs. <laughs> gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gift card. <laughs> a raffle ticket for a new thrush. Yeah, we go. <laughs> yeah, we haven't. We left that subject a long time ago, and seventeen. So, well, seventeen people are still watching. This Facebook thing may be a better option anyway. But are you still recording it so people couldn't? It's do right there. On the, it yeah. was always so recorded. Yeah, yeah. It was always recorded on that camera. I didn't get the, the very, audio. very beginning, but it's fine. Yeah, the audio will be a lot better on that. Oh yeah, on the podcast. Too. On the record, on my video. Yeah. On the recording, yeah. I mean, I might if this loads on there, I might just leave that on there. Maybe it'll sound better once it gets, you know, um, once it gets re republished or whatever. Um, maybe we'll get some compression on it. Because what it is, is is the highs and lows of our talking is, is we'll make the compression of that thing go in and out. Gotcha. So every time we talk loud, it kind of brings it quieter because it's trying to condensate. Yeah. And then when it's real quiet, it opens up real far. So it's, it gets little details. But then when one of me and Lee talk real loud again, it closes it down again. <laughs> that is a good question, though, because I have that question all the time at the tackle shop by wives and girlfriends and people coming in. Gibson tickets. It's Gibson hard. Tickets. Yeah, fishing things. And the funniest thing is like, we will come in and like, I'm here to get my husband a present. 
Like, get a t shirt and what, a gift card. What kind of what kind of fishing does he do? I don't know. He leaves yeah. in the morning and he comes back in the evening. You know, <laughs> fresh water, salt water. Does he like to use bait? You know, it's just funny because it's like, how do you help somebody? And it's hard because unless you know somebody's buying a present for somebody that they don't fish with, yeah. like it'd be easy for Chris to find me a Christmas present. Yeah, well, fishing yeah. With me. But if you don't, but if you fish don't at all, do it, it's very difficult unless you move out in his garage and dump his whole tackle box on the yep. floor. Don't do that. Yeah. 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 But I mean, don't so do gift that. cards, gift cards I mean, are yeah, awesome. Really, I hate to say that unless you're it's like, everybody can use sound pliers. Personal. Right, but you can always use it's pliers and little things like that, but it's very hard to, right, right. I would, you know, at least get a gift receipt if you're going to do it because yeah. you don't yeah. know what but they even, need or yeah, don't. Because even if you get pliers, yeah. you might not get a like late count Exactly. Gift cards are personal, personal, but when I go to the tackle shop and need to spend 18 bucks and don't have to spend $18, it's makes a lot of sense then you know what i mean right. like yeah we sold a gift certificate today yeah you know, was, was actually coming in looking for a kayak for his wife because all well, her friends getting she wanted to do it and he was like <sighs> looking at him yeah there's no just, way you just, just can't go yeah. wrong yeah. you just you Never can always put together a little like a little package like a couple of dvds and a gift card mm -hmm. you know Kevin's especially if it's DVDs. somebody like that's an adamant fisherman i mean get somebody that's starting it's a little easier because they're yeah. learning yeah. Yeah, but yeah, if you, once you're setting your ways and your lures and your lines, you can, you and your can get rods, something for them that doesn't work at all. Right, for right. They, well, they, they can use or they just, right. They've already had it. They're, they're already because lures are like that. You, yeah. you and I could be fishing together, and you love this one. I love that one. I can't catch shit with yours because you confidence yeah. and stuff. So that could be like this thing sucks. Yeah. I know. So you know what I'm saying? So even Mark and I, lots of time, don't fish the same color. Yeah, That's the another. Same. Here's another good gift idea. Uh, if you know what club, or if they belong to a fishing club, TK has some lovely club merchandise that's uh, available. If you hit up some club members, I'm sure Virginia Beach Anglers and all the other local clubs. Or pay that, for their membership for or, a year or two. Or a club. gift membership. Yeah. That'd be real cool, too. Yeah. yeah. It was like 25 bucks, 30 bucks. Yeah. Was it Why is Kevin in the corner and not in the middle? Put the king in the middle of the screen. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> William. Where was that? William yeah. McCarty. I was close. Look, I said William. I was the <laughs> this is the Kayak yeah. Kevin podcast. Why are you not the king? Yeah, Get always in the middle of the yeah I think we did it this way. One, I was working with the computer and all that stuff, and it was easy for me to come in and out. And two, me and Kevin and I are the to. furthest away at all times. Because we're the loudest, and, and it's easier to kind of anchor in like this. And we'll so sit next to each other. And yell, we'll sit next to each other and yell at each other while you two talk. Yeah. Plus, I was gonna say they can out talk and over talk anybody just in case. Yeah, and that's and it's better to be separated out because Lozier said something stupid again. Talk about it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are saying that the sound sucks now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I, oh, well, we're wrong. We can go. Maybe these people here. need yeah. to fix yeah, this. But I can, I can yeah. next time I'll pull the cover off of there. I didn't. I didn't think about that. The cover's that, on right did, Is there a microphone that goes into the? You can buy an external one. You have to buy one. Yeah. But yeah. It, I bet it's a lot better if I just take the fucking <laughs> case off. It was a word. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's going through two layers of plastic. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. got it like Maybe body well painted. Maybe you want to mention the raffle one more time. <laughs> Real loud. They didn't get it in the beginning. They're probably still not here. <laughs> no, I might as well go do it, do it one more time. All right, so real quick, we're, we got a raffle going on at TK for the next time many days are left of the first 12 days of the month. Till the 12th, you said. 12th. Right? Till the 12th. 12th. Um, it's a 140 wilderness, a thresher, 140 <laughs> dust with a rudder for a $10 raffle ticket. You have a chance of winning it. We're going to draw on the 16th of the month. Um, there's a link on my page. There's a link on this podcast page I put on this morning. I'll share it again tonight when I get home, and I'll shoot it over if you want to put it up again. Or you can grab yeah, it off yeah, of yeah. it, and we can grab it off of there. It's on TK's um, Tyler Both. Kayak Anglers page on the website and on our Facebook page. Real simple to navigate. Like I said, $10 donate, uh, raffle ticket. Buy as many as you want. Um, Plus there's two more GOPC two more gift certificates. GOPC gift certificates that will be randomly picked to give away, but does not take your name out of the drawing for the kayak either. So... That's about it. Very cool. Cool Christmas present for somebody, like I said. Yeah. Brand new kayak for ten dollars. Well, sign <laughs> it. Ain't gonna happen too often. <laughs> somebody <laughs> wants to know who the biggest asshole in kayak fishing is, and why is it Joe Massini? Why isn't it? <laughs> why is it? Oh, why is it? <laughs> who is it, and why is it Joe Massini? <laughs> <laughs> so there was a question with an answer. <laughs> and another one where where are my shoes at? Yeah, y'all haven't met me in person yet. 
Yeah, it yeah, is. Everybody knows the Disney shoe song. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> I worked with him for years, and I never, I don't think, all the years. Well, I did have to wear shoes at, at, at Ocean's East, and it killed me. It did. Remember, he remember did. I was sitting down. He wore shoes at the wedding. Yeah. He wore clothes shoes, shoes at the wedding. At the wedding. Yep. Yep. Did he? Yes. yes. I noticed his clothes. I didn't notice his shoes. He did have shoes on. Yeah, I'm going to my um, the shoes up. Yeah, I got married since the last podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. That's that first happened. One? Yeah. 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 That was the whole th- kind of the whole thing was the podcast where we had to take a break because of the wedding was coming yeah, up. And this was, room was uh, yeah. full of wedding stuff. I mean, it. We st- this room got full of wedding stuff, and then it got empty for a day, and then it was back full again for. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's right. Damn. Yeah, so that's uh, that's why the podcast kind of slipped out because the wedding was there, and then we kind of got in the habit of not not coming, and then we started fishing on Thursday and Friday nights. Yeah, there was a couple weeks in a row that was like the only nights to fish, and we did that, and it was one of those things, and we just kind of got behind on us. But yeah, yeah, we're at ninety something, so we're like we're, we're trying to get to a hundred before we go on tour. So. <laughs> Oh, you'll we'll see. We, we said that. We can't get married, that. man. He's already married. That was That's like three months we ago. We said that when we were doing one every week. <laughs> uh, it's a lot, though, when you think about it. I'm sure if you ask it's your followers funny. for subject matter, something will come. It don't mean subject matter. We talk about whatever. Yeah. So just do one every. Just do what? Do <laughs> what? I'm just saying, I'm talking about picking my nose and how enjoyable that is. No, don't is. do that. That's the worst thing you mark. People picking their nose, that's just. Well, I don't have to now because now I got a nice nice nose trimmer and got all that. All right. <laughs> what is your what is it? Christmas present for a fisherman? Nose trimmer, apparently. That was my birthday present from my mom. Really? <laughs> she goes, what do you want for birthday? So you know what I want? I want the nose trimmers I see on TV. Justin wants to see you live. You better smile and say something about Ocean's East. We've already had talked about buying gift certificates at Ocean Beach. <laughs> I said right, well, well, I mean, I'm just saying he just checked on you. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I'm flattered that he's got it. Are you, doing, are you doing some late night thinking? You'll know what I'm talking about. I said t-shirt and gift certificate. Probably think it. Think it. Think it. Think it. He does his best thinking when he's, he's drinking. <laughs> he's an idea man at the tackle shop. Probably. Probably. Just just way our the swordfish idea. hole. Our idea man. How much swordfish have you been eating? None. I haven't had any of this. I'm just gonna let you know that they carry away bags and bags of that shit. I just yeah. I've seen it once. Yeah, I've had that. I, I, no. <laughs> I've seen it. They carry bags and bags of that shit away. Oh, I've seen the swordfish. I've seen the pictures on Facebook. <laughs> I'm just a lonely kayaker. When are we gonna talk about The Walking Dead, dude? That would literally take yeah. maybe that, next week. Maybe another. I need to catch up on The Walking the Dead. The only watched, show. <laughs> I've only watched one this season, so Maggie and I got to go catch up, and then I kind of give you a brief, but yeah, I, I didn't and give then, nothing away. And then maybe show. we'll uh, maybe we'll talk about how we're gonna survive that shit <laughs> on a kayak. <laughs> It was funny when Joe posted. I was like, oh, "I've actually thought." I about really this have shit. never even thought about. I that completely shit. thought. I've never watched The Walking Dead, so. But just, I just know it was like that whole thing about getting. I'm too open. Too open. It, you're open. Well, the whole question, even if you haven't watched it, yeah, I get it. Like, why? Yeah, would, unless why would you're already established. On, anyway? Unless you're already established on Fist Smith Island when you realize what's going on. Right. Right. No, it's not the it's not the walkers. It's just getting shot. It's, you're too much of a target for snipers. You don't have to be on the kayak once you're on the island. Yeah, no, but getting back. But yeah, like, get move, like traveling up the intercoastal is probably not a good idea. You're probably going to get shot. There's right. probably people living on those islands. You're going to come in their range and they're not, you're not going to see them. How do you go? <laughs> <laughs> I, I All my years in the Marine Corps, I never heard of that. <laughs> get down, everybody. It's good. Done. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm trying to ride the, key, ride the Gulf Stream from Key West to the Bahamas. Yeah. One of those little tiny small islands until they clear out something I can see. Yeah. You'll be lucky if you like the one that used to have leopards on and stuff. And yeah. <laughs> Your first night sleeping. Okay. Uh, <laughs> shit start falling off. I made it away from the zombies, now I got leprosy. Well, I mean, technically, Fisherman's Island was that. That was Quarantine Island. Uh-huh. Before it was yep. Linen Island, and then it started right. Fisherman's Island. Yep. So it used to be, uh, you said, I might have some zombies. Something buried in there, maybe some of those quarantine dudes didn't. Walking it. Dead is like Sex in the City for assholes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Andy. There you go. Good job, Andy. Sex in the City, what a reference. Uh, Joe. Wow. Joe, just went for... Joe just had a coordinator. <laughs> yeah. Joe just had some coarse words for Andy. That's about it. Oh, this has gone to text message. There's no more. <laughs> this, this, goes back, this goes back to that Boston, New York battle now. Yeah, hey, Faka. Is... Hey, Faka. <laughs> I'm talking about my fucking walking dead fucker. 
George is oh, probably awesome. in the car. <laughs> <laughs> full <laughs> auto. Full, full auto. auto. <laughs> 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 He's going to take no shade No three round burst on this one. <laughs> Favorite ways to cook Tog? Kevin fries everything. I've changed up and I've been... Um, Oven with uh, no, well, uh, oh, my, with butter. My stove, lots of butter. <laughs> lots of butter. <laughs> oven, <laughs> oven with lots of butter. Well, I do my <laughs> I do my Coleman stove with a little frying pan on it, and I've been doing it outside with that. So, but oh, yeah, shit ton of butter, and I'm marinating <laughs> it with uh, garlic stuff. So yeah, grill, oh, yeah, yeah wrapped in foil grill, a little lemon butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, can't overdo that. Don't fry tog. That's a waste of good tog. It still tastes good. Ah, it you does. can't do it. it does. It's still good. You but fry, I've been, been cod and croaker. Yup. <laughs> Joe is not happy. <laughs> Joe is not happy. Joe does not like... Son of a bitch! <laughs> Andy has Andy's just demolished what little type of <laughs> bit of relationship they had left. <laughs> Andy has just demolished that. The bridge is burned. Can you see it? No, I can't. <laughs> Andy's Hold a up. fucking dick! Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's funny as shit. Uh, I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna <laughs> pull it up, and it's still gonna be going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, still gonna, it's still gonna go on for a while. Son of a bitch. We'll be eating dinner. Watching Again, this. for more info, check tk.org and tk Facebook page for the raffle. Absolutely. For the Thank pleasure. you for letting us come here and promote oh, yeah. it. Yeah. Shoot the breeze and talk about sounds. Thanks for finally getting us back butter. on the podcast again. Yeah. <laughs> now I gotta find something else to give away. When it's the we're giving away this. I think the Facebook Live is going to get us more people watching anyway, which yeah. is going to help. It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's easy, and we can fix the sound, it seems like. Yeah, I, yeah, I should have done that. Take first. the phone out of the cover. Absolutely. And take and put a cone on the back side of it, aim it this way. That could work, too. Yeah. Yeah, because the microphone's on the back side, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, cone, it sure it the, is. cone it this way. It sure and is. And take it out of the case and cone it this yep. way, and it should be fine. Yep, yep. That's a good idea. I forgot about that being on the other side. Joe and Andy. No, I don't know. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> good. That baked bean and douche used within two sentences. <laughs> Joe is my little Boston baked bean. <laughs> and Steve says definitely work on the sand. Sound. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. that's yeah. First night, dry run. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, we good. tried the face. And look on. Just couldn't get it far And look away. on any other, other podcast and you'll see I'm not have, I don't have any shoes on. Yeah, I speak some German that would really mess them up now. <laughs> on the sound. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who's out the one? 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 <laughs> All right, we're out. Thanks, guys. Thank thanks, you. Thanks to TKA.org. Thanks, you guys, for coming out. And yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, this was fun. A lot of fun. Well, Yakitaki, Yakitaki.us, and my DVDs at kayakkevin.com. Later, guys. Later, y'all. Bye, <laughs> Bye, Oh, now we got Arlo on the radio. Yeah. <laughs>